What is up guys, this is Anvith here from Hacks and Geeks and today I'll be showing you guys how to upgrade an NVMe SSD on your computer. I have already installed my NVMe SSD onto this computer but I'll be showing you guys anyway. Uh, so flip over your laptop and uh, in this case, in most of the cases, if uh, your laptop is easily upgradable, you'll have the screw and uh, you'll have the RAM slots and even the NVMe upgrading slots here right on this place. But my manufacturer didn't want to do that and he kept only and only for the RAMs. So now what I have to do is remove all these screws on, on my laptop. This, 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 this. And there are so many screws. I'll get back to you once I remove that. This will reveal my RAMs here. There are two RAMs already installed. I had made a previous video on how to install a RAM on your laptop, which you can check out. I'll put a link in the description so you can go there and check out that video. And if you try to lift this now, I, it won't actually come up so easily. And uh, I have to do a few more things here. I have to remove this uh, uh, SSD which I have put in. Actually, mine is unswappable, so I can put this one or I can put the optical disk drive. So anything will be fine and I have to keep that aside. But one more thing, make sure that you have removed every screw, even though after that you may have a screw which isn't removed. Actually, manufacturers will try to make an, an screw or two screws which are just black and you can't see the marks actually. Once you click on that, that's a tampo, that's a simple tape which will tamper that screw so you can remove that easily so that will be just a sticker just tamper the sticker and you'll be good to go this was the actual screw i removed it here as you can see this has a sticker on it so i wasn't able to see the first time when i removed this so just make sure you remove that screw too and keep that somewhere else safe now you have to remove this back panel of the laptop uh there'll be small edges where you can put your hands and just Try removing it slowly and uh, don't put too much of a pressure or else you may end up breaking those seals and if you put simple pressure on to the laptop you'll be able to lift that off and uh, I'll be removing this now and it may take a while and uh, try and remove it everywhere don't go to the middle and just start removing from each place you on which you can and then you can lift up like this and this was open this was the back panel and we opened it and now this will reveal the beast inside it this is the huge battery which is connected here and this is the heat sinks there are two heat sinks here and uh, these are the rams and uh, many more things here is the my hard disk and it's a very good constructed machine i would say now the actual part we need nvme ssd where is that in this and it's a complete mess to find it out here as this rogue laptops are good, they just give a back panel here where you can easily upgrade those NVMe SSDs, hard disks. You see this path. This is the actual NVMe SSD, and uh, this one is made from Crucial, I believe. I don't know. Uh, this was sent by my laptop dealer. There was an actual offer going on. I didn't buy the laptop with the NVMe SSD. They just sent it to me separately, so I had to upgrade it by myself. Okay, so here is the heatsink and this is the NVMe SSD. And NVMe SSD are act usually secured within screw. And this is the screwdriver I use. That is 2.0 into 40 millimeter. And uh, once you get that, you have to just open the screw before you install an S NVMe SSD. Remove the screw. And this is pretty much like the installation of the RAM. This will come up at a 45 degree angle and let me show you this this is the SSD which I had and I don't have a manufacturer listed here and this wasn't for the sale purposes uh, that was just an offer from my dealer of the laptop and uh, you can buy pretty much if you have the M.2 slot you can buy the Samsung NVMe SSD that's the best one 
and uh, you'll have pretty much more manufacturers uh, from whom you can buy this and this is the one as i'm showing you this is the nvme ssd and this is pretty much like the installation of the ram as i said and uh, as you can see there is one space here too this is for the lining up uh, if you see here or here these two parts let me show you this these two parts have the same hole to fill up this gap like the ram they have the holes to fill this uh, gap up so the next thing you need to do is put this at a 45 degree angle to any of the slots you have push that gently and bend this until you get the part where you can insert the screw now take the screw which you have removed which will already be installed in your computer put that there gently don't try to break anything it could be a little sensitive but you'll get the hand of it once you try and do it so while keeping that aligned properly just tight the screw once you have tightened it if you try to move it won't move and that's it you have pretty much installed your nvme m.2 ssd and thank you for watching the video guys if you dislike the video hit the dislike button but if you think it was awesome and this hardware is cool and that huge heatsink is cool hit the like button and get subscribed because we are going to review this laptop soon on our channel and that's it for guys goodbye